right, here we go. Ready, Freddy, Tooth Trouble, chapter two. Share. Chapter two, five ways to lose a tooth. That night, I didn't feel like eating any dinner. What's wrong with you, my mom asked. You haven't touched your food. I'm not hungry, I mumbled. Not hungry, said my mom, but it's your favorite, tuna noodle casserole. You must be getting sick. I'll go get the thermometer. I'm not sick, I shouted. Oh, somebody's in a yucky mood, said my big sister Susie. Be quiet, I yelled. I lunged towards Susie to pull her hair, but I slipped and my elbow fell right into her plate, sending a pile of tuna noodle casserole sailing to the floor. Hey, hey, stop it, you two, said my dad. My dad can be a pretty serious guy, and if he says stop, you better stop if you know what's good for you. Look at the mess you made, said my mom as she ran to get a sponge. She's such a neat freak. Our floors are so clean you could eat off of them. I'm not sick, I just had a bad day at school, I whispered. Oh, did the little first grader pee in his pants, my, teased my sister. Or did somebody spill milk on one of your dumb old shark shirts? Leave me alone, you ding dog sticky head, I shouted back. For your information, I'm a shark expert, and they are not dumb. Sharks are cool. You're just jealous of all my cool shark stuff. I am not brat, Susie yelled back. Please, Susie, said my mom, wiping the floor. Just leave him alone. He's upset about something. You're just not helping. She gave Susie one of her all-time famous shut your mouth now dead stares. Now, Freddie, tell us what's bothering you. I'm the only one, I said, sniffing. What do you mean the only one, asked my dad. Robbie lost his tooth today, so now I'm the only one in my class who hasn't lost a tooth. You want to lose a tooth, said my sister. Why didn't you just say so? I can help you with that. Really? I said, my face brightening. Sure, in fact, I'll show you five ways to lose a tooth. She held up her right hand and she bent her fingers down one at a time as she counted. One, two, three, four, five, until her hand was making a fist. Come over here and I'll punch you in the mouth. That should knock a few of those teeth loose, she said, laughing hysterically. Oh, Susie, that's so funny, I forgot to laugh, I said. Susie Marie Thresher, that is enough, said my dad. I think you need to go to your room right now. I don't want to. I didn't ask you, I'm telling you, now let's go. After the two of them left the kitchen, my mom came over and put her arm around me. Don't worry, baby, she said, kissing the top of my head. One of those little teeth will get loose sooner or later, just be patient. I don't want to be patient, I cried, pulling away. I ran to my room and I slammed the door. Then I stopped dead in my tracks because I just got a great idea. Chapter three, the door disaster. Slamming the door reminded me of this Commander Upchuck episode I saw one time on TV. Commander Upchuck had this really bad toothache. His tooth hurt so bad he wanted to get it out, so he asked his friend Cookie what he should do. Cookie got a string and tied one end of the string to the Commander Upchuck tooth and the other end to the door. Then he slammed the door a bunch of times and boom, the tooth came out. Hey, why didn't I think of that before? I said to myself, I was so excited. I ran to my treasure box, dumped it on the floor and started digging through my stuff. I found my Commander Upchuck fan club membership card, the $2 bill my grandpa gave me for my birthday, my hammerhead magnet from the aquarium, the plastic sword and mini umbrella from my fancy drink at the grown-up restaurant, my shark's tooth necklace, and my dad's cool business card. He's a producer on the kids' show Fun Factory. Then I saw it, the string I found on the playground last week. Great! I knew it would come in handy. Now I needed some tape. I'm not very good at tying. In fact, I can hardly even tie my own shoes. So tape would make the job a lot easier. I scanned my room for the roll of tape I borrowed from my mom and I spotted it in my fishing bowl. What on earth was it doing in there? Oh yeah, now I remember. I was pretending it was a hoop and I was trying to train my goldfish, Mako, to swim through it, just like the dolphins at Wet n Wild. I really want a dog because you can teach them to do lots of cool tricks. But my dog says, or my mom says a dog is too dirty and it would destroy the house. 
what does she think a dog is? Godzilla? I pulled the tape out of the fishbowl and I dried it on my pillowcase. As I started taping the string to my doorknob, my sister came running down the hall and pounded on my door. I jumped back. Hey, shark bait, she yelled. I'm going to do my homework and I can't find my pencil sharpener. Did you take it? She asked, trying to push my door open. Oh no, I couldn't let her in. If she saw me using my mom's tape on the doorknob, she'd tell on me and then I'd be in really big trouble. I leaned on the door as hard as I could and yelled, go away, dog breath. I don't have your dumb pencil sharpener. Hey, let me in, chubby, chubby cheeks, she demanded. What are you doing in there anyway? Nothing, you big pain, now go away. You must be up to something if you won't let me in. I'm telling mom and dad. Freddie's up to something, she called as her footsteps disappeared down the hall. Now I really had to hurry. I didn't want my parents to see what I was doing or I'd be in big trouble for two reasons. One, I was supposed to use her tape for special art projects. Two, my mom, the clean machine, would go nuts if I actually did yank my tooth out and got blood all over the carpet. I didn't care. I had to get my name on that big tooth. I picked up the string, wrapped it around my tooth a couple of times, and tried to tape the end to the front of my tooth. Oh, come on, come on, you stupid string, I muttered under my breath. The string and the tape were both getting all wet and slimy from my spit, and they kept slipping out of my fingers. I pulled some of the string out of my mouth and looked at it. It had a gooey chunk of tuna noodle casserole from dinner stuck to the end. I licked it off and tried to tape the string onto my tooth again. Ugh, yuck. Just then there was another knock on the door. Honey, what are you doing? I gulped. Ooh, it was my mother. I grabbed the string and tape and tried to yank it out, but it was stuck. The string had gotten caught between my teeth. Freddie, are you all right? Uh-huh. I can't hear you. What did you say? She started to turn the knob. See, said my sister, I told you he was up to something. Oh no, I couldn't let them see me tied to the doorknob like this. My mother would go crazy and I'd never hear the end of it from Susie. I ripped the end of the string off the doorknob and shoved the whole thing, tape and all, into my mouth just when my mom pushed the door open. What's going on in here? Mm -mm. I mumbled, trying not to open my overstuffed mouth. She looked around my room. Why is the stuff from your treasure box all over the floor? Did you make this mess? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I answered, shaking my head. Well then, who did? The boogeyman? Freddie, how many times have I told you not to make a big mess right before bedtime? You have two minutes to put everything away, mister, or no TV tomorrow. Do I make myself clear? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I nodded. I mean it, two minutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I said, trying not to open my mouth. Not very talkative tonight, are you? Are you still upset about not losing a tooth? I wish she would just leave already. I was gonna swallow the string and choke to death if she stayed one minute longer. Don't worry, I didn't lose my first tooth till I was in first grade, she smiled. Now hop to it. You've got two minutes to clean up this mess and then I'll be back to give you a kiss Good night. She left and I finally spit out the slimy, sticky, soaked wad of tape and string out of my mouth. Phew, that was a close one. Since the doorknob plan required tying, and I probably couldn't even learn to tie my own shoes in less than a week, I was going to have to come up with another plan. I squeezed my lucky shark tooth. If I squeeze it hard enough, a good idea pops into my head, but nothing was popping in there tonight. I lay down in my, on my bed and hit my forehead with the palm of my hand. Think, 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 I said. Chapter four is called Plan B. We'll read that next.